was hungry, now when the game turned greedy Was known to be needy, now was people that need me Battling up the dead because I What's up everybody? How you doing? This is Max Boogie from Wall Street And this is week 16 of Quincy Blunt's season with the Atlanta Falcons Going up against the San Francisco 49ers on a Monday night and this is actually being uploaded on like Saturday, but eh, it's a little bit before the time it actually happened, but it doesn't matter. And this is like, I'm not sure about this whole candlestick field or candlestick park uh, situation, but I actually didn't really realize that the middle of the field was like that. I don't know if it just changed. And I'm gonna have to look that up after this commentary, but yeah, this is um the Falcons versus the 49ers. And this game, it was real good for the Atlanta Falcons defense. Uh, the second to last game, and you're going to see Kaepernick doing a lot of that. He's overthrowing the ball, and he's just throwing it out of bounds. Like, um, Harbaugh doesn't even know what to do with him. Like, he didn't want to take him out. Like, look at the throw right there. Basically just ends the drive right there on the third and eight. And they punted us the ball, and the, our offense kicks a field goal. And Quincy Blunt, he hasn't been playing as himself lately he has a couple of good games this season but he's been kind of domestic he's been kind of off like he's running right past the running back and he, he's not fully there yet so hopefully the last game and the offseason he can get himself back together so he can get uh play to the performance level of his rookie season where he broke the nfl interception records for the season he had like 19 on the season so he beat out any other cornerback that ever played. That was really amazing. But you see Kaepernick right here overthrowing it or just it's not accurate. Like he's just throwing it out of bounds. There's no chance for the receiver to catch that and stay in bounds. And now he's just taking off and Quincy comes over to make that tackle. He's showing signs of frustration. He's overthrowing wide receivers and he's just trying to take off. And now the coach decides to just feed Frank Gore who actually did pretty good this game, but the 49ers stuck to this five wide receiver look most of the time. But Frank Gore did run the ball really well, and that's probably a result of the rookie defensive line, the defensive lineman that the Atlanta Falcons have. And, you know, we're going to have to pick up some more this season. So, look at this. The, <laughs> dropping the passes, his wide receivers weren't helping him out either. That's Vernon Davis. Dropping a wide open catch. There was no swatting involved. But Frank Gore, though, making the juke, making a cut. And he gets like 25 yards upfield. And they call a timeout. Second quarter, 22 seconds left. And Quincy Blunt tries to come up on the middle in his blitz. But he gets picked up by Frank Gore. So that's what Frank Gore has been doing this game. He had to deal with Quincy Blunt. And Quincy Blunt has to deal with Kaepernick trying to scramble. But we, we shutting him down. Like, there's nothing... Nothing to that. We, we got the coverage. We got the blitz. So the blitz is almost getting there. It's getting Kaepernick scared a little bit. But, yeah, he's going to have to um, get better for the remainder of the quarter if the 49ers want to win this game. Give the ball to Frank Gormo if they want to win because he's averaging like seven yards a carry. Like, this is ridiculous. But that time we do stop him in the backfield. Or just for no gain. And Miller goes in motion. Quincy Gormo reads it and hits Frank Gormo. With a big tackle right there, stopping him on third down. They put it to a fourth and inches. That was a real good tackle by Quincy, but it looked like he just pushed him over. And Kaepernick again just throwing the ball out of bounds. Like Quincy Blunt must really be in his head right now. He, he's not thinking right. So he's throwing it over the middle. Actually compete completes that pass to Anquan Bolden. He only has two receptions on a day. It's like in the fourth quarter. And we come up with the blitz again, and he has to throw it short of the first down. So it's fourth and two. They put us the ball again, so the score. And we're up by 17. Now it's ooh, almost a pick thrown by Kaepernick. Oh, my God. Quincy Blunt tricked him. As soon as he threw it, he just turned around. Perfect timing by Quincy Blunt. But looks like uh, Vernon Davis actually swatted it out of the air so Quincy Blunt wouldn't catch it. And that's what I'm talking about right there. Quincy Blunt ran straight past Miller on that play. And usually, if this was his rookie season, he would have been all on Miller that play. It would have been a big hit. Could have been a fumble right there. But, ah, he's just off his game. So hopefully he can do better in the next one. 
Kaepernick is way off his game though. He sends somebody in motion. Blunt, Blunt coming right up the middle and we finally complete a pass to Vernon Davis. And that gets a first down. He has about 47 yards on the on the day. Kaepernick still using this motion and look at the coverage though. If if Quincy Blunt is on Vernon Davis, he's not getting open. You're not gonna throw him the ball. If you do, I'm 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 guaranteed I'm gonna pick it off. I'm gonna pick it off. I dropped one of them and he went on the blitz right there, so he throws it right over the middle. But I think that's where I shine at in this. Like the coverage, sometimes I get messed up if it's one of those shake routes. But if I see it once in a day, I'm not gonna get shaken up on it again. It's like most of the routes, you can obviously like tell which way the route is going to go depending on how the receiver starts off. And here's a string of no huddle that they did. I, they just went no huddle all the way down the field. And the coverage didn't never pass it to Quincy Blunt way except for that right there. It was just a nice pass and a nice catch. So if Quincy Blunt was a little bit faster. That could have been an interception. But it wasn't. Kaepernick threw a, a nice pass. And he's back in the end. He gets sacked in the red zone so he does another no huddle i don't know if harbo is approving of this but he keeps on doing it and unfortunately they get a false start so they only weren't even able to score right there <laughs> now they have to come out again on third and goal and they're going to try to score right here everything is locked up he almost threw another interception right there if quincy blunt would have dove or something that ball would have stayed up high a little bit more and on fourth and goal Quincy faking the blitz, dropping back to the middle. Kaepernick did a 360 pass for it. Nah, that's not a touchdown. He, Manningham, stepped out of bounds first and then came back in. So that saved the score to leave it at 27 to 10. Pretty good for that Atlanta Falcons defense, man. They only allowed 10 points this game, and the offense showed up, and they actually scored 27 points. So, pretty nice game for the whole team. And Kaepernick, it was a really, really sad game for him, man. There's a lot of drop passes with the receivers, and all the miscommunications, and a lot of balls being thrown out of bounds. But Eric Reed is the player of the game, even though they lost. But this video is coming to an end. So, always remember, in the street we trust. I'm out.